Ypsilanti Township versus Corbin, case number 21W0010008. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Assistant uh, Public Defender Chinazi K. I can really on behalf of Mr. Corbin. So unmute your device and state your name, sir. Oh, my bad. I thought I thought it was unmuted, um, Corbin. I'm so I'm so sorry. My bad. That's okay. And good morning. Good morning. It's back here and he's still suspended. No, because look, I want to apologize because I told you I was going to handle my business, but on some real, I'm going to be honest with you, I've been getting slammed because I don't know if you were at three cases at once. One of them finally got dismissed. I just got a signed probation and it's this. So it's like, yeah. and then you said it was 70. I went up there, it was 280. I had money on me so I could pay it then. That's what I'm saying. The birth certificate still like came, but I didn't come today to just give you a bunch of excuses, though. I'm just trying to be real. Okay. It's like here, yeah, I can remember. Yes, Your Honor. Um. Corbin, you don't have an update on when you're going to have your birth certificate yet? Man, the, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ma'am, she said she been basically giving me a run around. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know at this point. Like She's been giving the ladies with the program. So I'm saying, and I don't got my social, so I can't go to the secretary get it myself. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. I'm just waiting on that. Um, but I can make a minute today right now, that's what I'm saying. I need the case number. Last time. Pass this matter. I think I missed out with my network. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mr. You you just I come think I, you said you can hear me? I can uh, partially. I'm just using my connection. I just cut the Wi-Fi off. I see. So last time we were here, I said this was the final adjournment. You did. I understand. Ms. Akira, I can really have you spoken to the prosecutor about any office in this case. We have no, not. I uh, actually, Cor this particular case for, case for Corbin is not ours. So we didn't prep this case. I'm sorry. It is yours. Is this it? is a display license. It's your your case. It doesn't. It doesn't. Our our name isn't on the docket. That's PD on my file. Hmm. And this is the Barnett case, right, Judge? <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is my case. So he's already charged with no no ops. So I, I'm not sure where I can go absent ha him having a license. So we need to make sure your name gets on it. So um, you haven't prepped it. I will give you one more time to prep okay. this. He has one more time to get his license. Okay. July 18th, sir. This is the end of this. Okay. If you don't have it by then, okay. I'm sorry. Today we talk. Can you say today more time? Start? Okay. July 18th, 2023 at 9 a.m. 
The case number is 172254. I don't know if you can use chat. Right. Gibbs Lane Township versus Corbin, booth number 21W001008. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Good morning, Your Honor. I'm a Kluge student attorney on behalf of Mr. Corbin and requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Davi Lebo. Permission is granted. Thank you. Mr. Chief, can you please state your name? Corbin. Thank you. Um, your Honor, in, in this case, we'd be asking for a three-week adjournment. Uh, Mr did take his written test to get his driver's license, but he did fail it just shy of a few points. Um, he has been studying for the test since then, and he does feel confident that when he takes it this next time that he'll be able to pass. I need to see something that says he didn't pass. Does he have any proof of it? Understood. Um, I did not talk to Mr. about that. Do you, do you have proof of your test, Mr. No, I ain't even at home. Mr. Barnett? I don't object to another adjournment. I, as we said, we'd like to have them get their license. So. You can do that. You can do that right now. Okay, two, two uh, sessions ago, I told you final adjournment. And you're representing today that you actually took the test? Are you talking to me? Is your name Mr. Yeah, I failed it. I failed it. I'm going to write to you. Um, I understand you can do what you got to do at this point. I, uh, Are you going to take the test again, Mr. T? Yes, I am. August 29th at 9 a.m. I hope you have studied and passed the test this time, sir. Really, for your sake. Well, the reality is, I don't know how he could take the test. It says he's suspended. What you mean? Suspended from what? I took the test at Secretary of State. You know what? I don't need, I don't need one another adjournment. You know, you can just do what you got to do. I don't need one another adjournment. I ain't going to lie. It says that he's suspended for right driving out of 1482 District Court. So, what are we going to do about the situation? Like, your Honor, if Mr. Tate isn't interested in the adjournment, is it possible that we could briefly speak with him about his other functions? Certainly. Thank you. Yes, I'll pass this matter. The court will recall the case of Ypsilanti Township versus Corbin, case number 21W001008. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Emma Kluge for Mr. Did I do it? Yeah. Can you please unmute and state your name again, sir? Corbin. Thank you. Your Honor, we had a chance to um, speak with Mr. T in the breakout room. Thank you for that. At this time, he's going to want to um, plead to the no ops misdemeanor. Thank you. It's, a, it's my understanding you're going to be pleading guilty to no operator's license on person that is a misdemeanor carrying a maximum penalty of 90 days and or up to $100 fine. In exchange for that plea, the more serious offense would be dismissed. Is that your understanding of the agreement? Yes, ma'am. All right. Please raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Mr. Barnett, will you confirm that that's the offer? I do confirm that is the offer, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
I'm just writing it out. All right, so you have the right to have a trial by a jury at which time you can call witnesses to speak for you. You can get an order signed by this court to require that they come to court. You have the right to see, hear, and question any and all witnesses that are called against you. You have the right to be a witness for yourself or you could choose to remain silent. If you chose to remain silent, the prosecutor could not comment on that. In addition to that, you have the right to be presumed innocent unless proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand those rights, sir? Yes, ma'am. You understand you're gonna be giving up all those rights and you're not gonna be having a trial of any sort. In addition to that, um, oh, well, let me start with that. You, you won't be having a trial of any sort. Say that one more time. You understand that you're going to be giving up all those rights and you're not going to be having a trial of any sort. Yes, ma'am. All right. And do you also understand there's no automatic right to appeal this decision? So the decision you're making in all likelihood is going to stick with you? Yes, ma'am. And in addition to that, um, do you also understand, sir, that, that if you were on probation, parole, or bond, at the time you committed this offense, then you could be in violation of any or all of those if you still are? Yes, ma'am. Were you on probation, parole, or bond? I wasn't at the time of it happened, but I am now. I see. Okay. Then that's fine. And then in addition to that, sir, if you're not a U.S. citizen, this could have immigration consequences. You are a U.S. citizen, correct? Yes, ma'am. And in addition to that, sir, I well, that's it. Uh, to the charge of no operator's license on person, how do you plead? Guilty. Anyone promise you anything other than what we placed on the record to get it today to get you to plead guilty? No. Anyone threatening you in any way, shape, or form? No, ma'am. All right, thank you. So on um, April the 15th of 2021, were you operating a motor vehicle at the vicinity of e course and Fort Road in Ypsilanti Township? Yes. And at the time you were operating, did you not have a valid operator's license on your person? I did it. All right, thank you. Actually, that's the original charge, isn't it? Now that I'm looking at this. It may be. Okay. What happened with the uh, displayed of uh, disobeyed a traffic signal ticket? Did he plead to that? Did he ran a red light, turned up the wrong? Can you look up and see if there was a A to a B to to this? It doesn't look like there was, but oh no, he was warned. He was warned on that one. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So he didn't get that ticket. All right. So at the time that you were operating the motor vehicle on that day, you didn't have a, a license on your person for it? No, ma'am, I didn't. Okay. Um, I find that there's a factual basis for the plea that's been willingly and normally made. Are you satisfied, Mr. Barnett? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Cruz? Yes, yeah, satisfied, Your Honor. Thank you. As to sentencing, I presume we want to do immediate sentencing today? <clears throat> no objection. No objection either. All right. So, anything you want to say before I sentence you? No, ma'am. I even cost in this particular case for a total of two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Can you pay that today, sir? Um, I can pay some of it. All right. How, do you need a payment plan? Is that what you want to do? Um. Uh, yes. Do I? Yes, ma'am. Do I have to go to the courthouse? Um. No, downtown? it's a. You can. Um. You can pay it online if you have a credit card. I don't know if you have that. Otherwise, uh, you have to come into the courthouse that's on. Huron River Drive in Ypsilanti Township, sir. Not the not the downtown Ipsy, but the the Huron River Drive in Oh yeah, I'm familiar with that. Okay. So how much can you pay per month? Um like 50, 25, 50. I'll do you a payment plan of fifty dollars per month. On what day of the month can you pay? Um what's today? Today is the 20, 25th. Okay. On the 25th of each month. 
And you said it's two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Yes, sir. All right. And then um, I'll do a review for October seventeenth to see if you're paying. Yes, ma'am. At ten a.m. If you're paying, you don't have to be here. All right. You said I talk. Say that one more time. I'm so sorry. That's okay. October the seventeenth. At nine a.m. At 10 a.m. And if I paid and you said I don't got to come? Right. If you're even making payments on your payment plan. So if you paid $175, you don't have to come. Okay. All right. Um, do I, can I ask you a question? Of course. I got some points on my license because I ain't even got my license yet. So how you can explain that? Actually, I can't explain that to you. Um, that's, oh, that's, up to the sec that's up to the Secretary of State. That's the only thing I can explain. Secretary of State decides what points go on your license. This particular uh, one will not add any additional points. So oh, that, right. uh, that I can't explain if that's what you're asking. But I don't know about the other points that are already there. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.